Don't look at my hair. The beanie is on for a reason. It is hair wash day, but I don't wanna wash my hair, so. It is Thursday night and I'm in that mood where it is at night and all of a sudden I want to clean and fix my entire life. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I am going to pretend that the first 10 days of the year have not happened and that the first day of 2024 is actually today. Not that anything was wrong with the first 10 days, but I just have been working, training for my half marathon and then when I come home, I've been treating it like a dump. That's a bit extreme, but my room is definitely a dump right now. But the rest of the house, it also needs some cleaning. It needs some resetting, it needs some love, it needs to be taken care of. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. I would prefer to do this on a weekend, but this weekend I do have my half marathon. I want to be calm and at peace after I finish my half marathon. I know I'm gonna be exhausted afterwards. So I wanna come home to a clean house. So the only way to clean the house and the only time to do it is after work at night. So I'm telling you, doing what we can with what we've got. No complaints. Gonna do more, like, more, not surface level, like, you know, kind of clean the countertops, do the dishes, fill the dishwasher, clean my bathroom because that's kind of messy. And honestly, the rest of the house is all right. And then clean my bedroom. My bedroom is the issue here because I have actually been sleeping in my sister's room because my room is such a mess that I can't sleep in it. So we need to do that. And then I'll probably leave off mopping and like vacuuming to tomorrow because I just don't have the energy. So. Let's get started. We're getting started, you guys. Kitty cats, we're getting started. We're cleaning the house. don't know what I was thinking, but that took much longer than expected. It's now 9.45. On weekdays, I usually sleep at 10 p.m. to get up for work the next morning at 6.30. So, we're not gonna do my bedroom today. I'm honestly happy about that, but we are going to do the bathroom. Kind of surface level, we're not gonna sweep or mop or throw the rugs in the wash, but we're gonna clean this mess. So,
cute. The t-shirt. It's a jacket. And then I got some goodies. The XO. Yum. That's about it. Oh, okay. Are we mentally prepared for tomorrow? Honestly, a little bit. No, I should say yes. I should I should be confident with myself. I should be confident in my skills, in my ability, in my strength, in my performance, because we believe in ourselves. <laughs> Well, we're just gonna have to deal. Ugh. Did you guys hear that? That's my cat crying for me. But we have come to the moment we've all been waiting for. What I've been waiting for, what I've been putting off and what I've been dreading is cleaning this room. I really need to stop doing this to myself. But we're gonna clean it and it's gonna stay clean. Okay, we're gonna clean.
So it's been nearly a week since the half marathon and I wanna do some reflections. Honestly, it was such a great day. I felt so accomplished afterwards and I was so happy that I got to run alongside my one of my best friends. Accomplishing that together and doing that together was so much fun. It was nice to have a buddy. It was honestly fun. <laughs> I am surprised that I'm saying that because I do not like running and you're probably wondering why did you run a half marathon and why did you train for it? Well, I feel like I've said this before when I said that I was going to do a half marathon, but I grew up to my mom running half marathons. She did more than a few when I was like in high school. We would always go to her races and we would always be on the sidelines to cheer her on and I just always admired runners. I just always admired their motivation and their work ethic because as someone who does not like running, I just find it so difficult. But I do know after I do run, I feel very good about myself, really in every aspect, like fitness wise, health, mind, internally, externally. Um, there's something about running that makes me feel different than any other sort of workout or exercise. So yeah, I really wanted to do that. I think my mom was a big motivator into actually making this a bucket list item of mine. And my friend was also the push to sign up for the Carlsbad Half Marathon. It's the best way to really start off the year. It was really great. And if you are familiar with Southern California, we ran within the Carlsbad area, majority of the half marathon, and there was also a marathon as well, they were running alongside us, um, was we were running on Coast Highway. So that is directly the highway that is right next to the ocean. So the view the entire time was beautiful. The weather was fine, it was overcast, but it wasn't windy thank god because then the sand would have been like blowing in our faces um but it was also nice and cold and cool on coast highway there are also homes the beautiful homes along the beach um but there were people outside of their homes like passing out snacks for us because i definitely was reaching starvation mode once i hit like mile eight and so it was really sweet one lady ran out with like pancakes and then someone ran out with like bananas and they were just like cheering us on and they had music and there were even like live bands that the marathon had set up um, along like each mile point. Yeah, I think I got through because, well, number one, I did medium train for this. I definitely didn't train to the bestest of my ability and I definitely did train somewhat. I would run about like two times a week. Um, yeah, I just ran enough and trained enough to know that I could achieve it. And I did, and it was great, and it worked. Would I do it again? Maybe. I just think the training is what gets me. I think being rigorous and routine about your training annoys me <laughs> because I don't like to run. <laughs> but you have to do it. You have to do it to achieve it. And I'm glad I did it. The recovery afterwards, I think the day of the marathon, so we finished that morning, that day was brutal. Like I definitely was like walking a little bit wobbly, but the next day I recovered pretty quickly. Like I wasn't that sore. I think it was mostly just like my ankles and my shins, like more like bones and joints that were in pain rather than muscle pain. Um, but I hopped right back on my feet like the next day. Recovery was pretty smooth um, because I did once again train like medium. I did like a 10 mile run on my own. So I feel like I prepped enough to not be entirely sore and dead afterwards. I also did like, I've been routinely going to Pilates classes and other workout classes, so that definitely helped. I am so happy that I did it. I'm so happy that I did it with my friend. I think I do want to continue running here and there as a part of exercise, but yeah, I did sign up for a 5K in like two months. Um, <laughs> once again, I, how does she not like running when she's making herself suffer through all of this? I know, I know, I'm thinking the same thing. But I also like the medals and I also like getting the t-shirts and I like the motivation, I like the ambiance, I like the people cheering on, it's fun. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. It is raining outside so I'm gonna stay in for the day. I had my coffee. I started reading Book Lovers so 
gonna read some of that, maybe watch some suits. We're gonna have a nice pampered day. We're gonna have a nice day in. So yes, anyways, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I hope, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you have a nice cup of coffee, nice cup of tea, and um, peace out. Peace out.